Hello everyone. Today's topic is local anesthetics. Anesthetics as a whole can be divided as local and general anesthesia. We will discuss about general anesthesia in a future topic. What is local anesthetics? Local anesthesia are drugs which reversibly block impulse conduction along axons at site of application thus cause loss of sensation in that specific area so let's see the mechanism of action of local anesthesia let's take a scenario in which we have a certain stimulus this stimulus causes production and spread of action potential along the axon we know that formation and spread of action potential is initiated by sodium ion influx intracellularly but when we introduce local anesthesia it moves intracellularly and bind to specific allosteric sites where local anesthesia bind and block the influx of sodium this block of sodium prevents depolarization and inhibits formation of further action potential therefore we can see that no sensation moves across this point of application and that we have achieved a state of local anesthesia factors affecting action of local anesthesia types of nerve fibers things like diameter and firing rate change the action of local anesthesia so which fibers are more sensitive to local anesthesia autonomic fibers small unmyelinated fibers and small myelinated fibers So, which fibers are less sensitive to local anesthesia? We've got larger myelinated fibers, which are motor fibers of type A alpha, A beta, A delta. Next, we have pH. We can have acidic conditions and basic conditions. In acidic conditions, local anesthesia dissociate, so they cannot penetrate into the cell. But in basic conditions, they do not dissociate, therefore they can penetrate into cells. Here we have an example. A patient was admitted to surgical department with phlegmonous inflammation of the leg. A surgeon decided to make operation under local anesthesia by lidocaine. But the infiltration of tissue by the drug did not allow providing sufficient level of anesthesia. What is the cause of low efficiency of lidocaine in this case? So, here we see there is lower pH in infl inflamed tissues that is acidic medium in comparison with normal tissues as local anesthetics are weak bases in acidic medium most of the molecules are ionized they are dissociated and they cannot pass through the cell membrane so their effect of the drug in these conditions is diminished
Next, we have local blood flow. When local blood flow decreases, this delays absorption of local anesthesia into systemic circulation. Therefore, it causes prolongation of its action. So, we can use a drug like epinephrine. Epinephrine is a directly acting non-selective alpha-beta adrogenic agonist. Epinephrine causes vasoconstriction. Therefore, it decreases blood flow. So, by this reduction of blood flow, it causes less of lo local anesthetics to be absorbed into systemic circulation and causes prolongation of its action. Now, now we have another example. A patient was prepared for the operation under infiltrative anesthesia. 100 milliliters of 0.5% lidocaine solution was administered. After the anesthesia, a patient started complaining of mouth and tongue numbness. Then tonic and chronic convolutions developed. What is the cause of these symptoms? These symptoms are caused by absorption of large amount of lidocaine and development of systemic toxic effects of the drug. What must be done for prevention of this state? Epinephrine must be added to the anesthetic solution for prevention of systemic effect of lidocaine. It causes vasoconstriction and delays absorption of lidocaine into the systemic blood flow. Classification of local anesthetics Firstly, on chemical basis, we can divide among esters and amines. Esters We have cocaine Procaine Tetracaine and Benzocaine Under amides, we have lidocaine, prilocaine, articaine and bupivacaine. Easy way to find which is esters and amides is that esters have one I and that of amides have two I's. Next up, we have classification by duration. So by duration, we can classify local anesthetics as short duration, intermediate duration, and long duration. Under short duration, we have procaine, and intermediate duration, we have the mnemonic CLAP. C, L, A, P. C for cocaine, L for lidocaine, A for articaine, and P for prilocaine. And long duration local anesthetics, we have the mnemonic Bluetooth, B, T, B for bupivacaine, and T for tetracaine. Next up, we have classification according to their application. We can divide it among epidural, spinal, intravenous, nerve block, infiltration, topical, 
Lidocaine is used in all these subtypes of local anesthesia. For epidural, we have lidocaine and bupivacaine. For spinal, we have lidocaine, bupivacaine and tetracaine. For intravenous, we have lidocaine and prilocaine. For nerve block and infiltrative anesthesia, we use lidocaine, bupivacaine and prilocaine. And finally, for topical anesthesia, we use lidocaine, tetracaine, cocaine and benzocaine. Next up, we have distinctive features of local anesthetics. Considering the main local anesthetics, lidocaine is the most popular local anesthetic. It has the least percentage of allergy. It has a very fast onset and used in all forms of local anesthesia. It is also used in prevention of tachycardia that we will discuss in a future topic. Procaine. It has a high percentage of allergy and a very slow onset. Then we got cocaine. Cocaine has a very high potential of abuse. It is, if used, only used topically. and It has a local vasoconstrictor effect. Next, tetracaine. It's a long-acting drug, which is highly toxic, used as ophthalmic anesthesia. Bupivacaine, very long acting drug, which is cardiotoxic. It's used during delivery to ease pain as this drug does not change the activity of the myometrium. And finally, articaine, it has a fast onset and it is used in stomatology. Next, we have reabsorptive or systemic action of local anesthetics. This is the adverse effects of local anesthesia when they are introduced to systemic circulation and affects the other systems of the body. So, central nervous system, sleepiness, Relentness and agitation, depression, and finally, death at high doses. Cardiovascular system local anesthetics cause decrease of heart rate contractility, excitability, and also causes vasodilation. Finally, we've got effects of cocaine. Cocaine causes CNS stimulation with euphoria, vasoconstriction, increased heart rate, and contractility. Next, we have the mechanism of action of cocaine. So, here we have a transmitter neuron, a receptor neuron, 
a neurotransmitters with catecholamines such as epinephrine or dopamine. So these neurotransmitters are sent out of the presynaptic cleft into the synaptic cleft. They act on receptors on the postsynaptic cleft and cause formation of action potential. Normally, after the action potential is formed, they are sent or taken out by reupt reuptakers or transporters and they are degraded. But in the presence of drugs like cocaine, These drugs block the action of the reuptakers or the transporters. Thus, this causes the increase of neurotransmitters in the synaptic cleft. So, the high concentration of neurotransmitters causes to form repeated and increased strength action potentials in the receptor neuron. Thank you guys for joining in, like if you liked it, comment on changes and a subscribe would be awesome. Thanks again, Medico signing out.